Today, young art definitely has a place in this world. I've always been into fashion and accessories, and it's one of the accessories, one of the things that really pop out and make your outfit. After graduating, my mom wanted to set up a business for all of us, and my cousins are also very into art, so they, she wanted to create a venue for us. Be it graphic design, hands-on raw paintings, and installations, or a grand combination of all. I like a mishmash of weird things. It's very assorted. There's stuff that's very pop art and then there are more classy pieces like with the ribbons and the pearls. I just want to have a place where there's a lot of things that you can find. It's not just like one person who will appreciate it, especially like young girls. I wanted something to offer that is different, something that will stand out in the market. I just wanted to be unique and true to my style, I guess. I really wanted to reference things that are very familiar with people, like the 70s or the, the pop art movement. And now they are everywhere, incorporated even in merchandise. So it's very varied, like earrings, rings, necklaces, and then headbands also, they could be keychains. I have a fascination with toys and I like making my own accessories also. So some of my favorite, per personal favorite items, like the necklaces that are made of toys, because it's very fun. When I wear mine, every time people see it, they always make me see sad. Like, what is this? Oh my god, you have a starfish on your neck. And they get very surprised. It's not something that they see all the time. Bags also and hats, because it's also our business. We manufacture caps and bags for local brands. And that's why we started to incorporate our own designs and silhouettes into it and make it trendier. And we have vintage bags also that are patterned after radios and you can turn the knobs and it's really interesting. There are amplifiers and cassette tapes that are fashioned into bags um, that are made of leather. Also leather bracelets with flowers and they're very like vintage and very boho. Six screen bags and paint splattered bags and very artsy. Glass pendants that are very fragile. It's inspired by Venice. This haven of all things wonderfully weird definitely creates an enchanting venue for anyone who is passionate about one-of-a-kind finds that truly embody the essence of what we call today as youthful art. This is Janina Chan reporting for RPN's Spotlight.